Let's review how to calculate the pressure within a confined cylinder. We have to remember that Pascal's law states that pressure will act equally in undiminished 90 degrees to all surface areas within a confined system. The cylinder right here, because there's no way for any oil to get in or out, is acting as a confined system. The load sitting on top of the cylinder acting through the cylinder rod and on the piston is going to attempt to compress the fluid that's inside the trapped cylinder. The pressure that's in the cylinder is going to be determined by the size of the piston and the weight of the load. This is expressed in saying the force is equal to pressure times area. We can take those pieces and put them in the trades triangle and we can say that the force is going to be equal to the pressure times the area. What we're trying to say here is that the load or the force that's going to be on the cylinder acting on the piston right here trying to compress is going to determine the pressure or the pressure required to hold the load up is determined by the size of the piston and the weight of the load. So let's create some numbers. Let's say we have a thousand pound load and let's say we have a 10 inch squared piston. So we have two items of the formula already. We can enter them into the trace triangle. We can say that force is the 1,000 pounds sitting on top of the 10 inch squared area. Now we can either put this in our calculator and say 1,000 divided by 10 or we can simply see that those two zeros would cancel out and we would be left with 100 psi. So that means if we put a small gauge or a big gauge, doesn't matter, a gauge in the side of the cylinder, the gauge would read 100 psi and 100 pounds per square inch would be what's required to hold the load. Notice it doesn't matter where the piston is in the cylinder, the 100 psi is always going to be there. It is everything to do with the area of the piston and not to do with where that piston is in the cylinder. The 100 psi will continue to hold the load but will not move the load. For the load to move, we would have to connect it to a pump, and that pump would have to increase the pressure above 100 psi for that cylinder to move, and the outlet of the cylinder would have to go to a reservoir so that we can allow for flow. But we would have to overcome the 100 psi requirement of the load for the cylinder to move. If we were at 100 psi, we would simply hold the load.